Today I'm going to talk about open collector circuits and pull-up resistors. This video is in response to a comment I received on my video about operational amplifier comparators. So to understand this video, be sure that you've read the material and watched the lectures that lead up to operational amplifiers. The comment is by Vlada Jovanovic, and he said, This circuit is not correct. The output on the comparator is an open collector transistor. So, you need a pull-up resistor and driver, or you must connect the other side of the relay coil to VCC. This is the circuit he was talking about. It is simply a time delay circuit as an example of what you can do with an operational amplifier comparator. It is made so that when I flip this switch, this capacitor charges up and with this time constant, it takes 10 seconds to reach the 6.32 volts that is applied to the inverting input. And when that does reach 6.32 volts, this voltage will jump up to 10 volts and turn on the relay. Now the problem that Mr. Jovanovic is having with the circuit is he is assuming that this is an IC comparator, not an operational amplifier. Now a comparator and an operational amplifier are virtually identical except for the output circuit. And this is the difference. A operational amplifier typically has a push-pull output such as this, which means that it can both sink and source current. And that circuit would have worked. But he is assuming that it's a comparator circuit where the output is more like this, where we have an output transistor going to ground with a base driven by some driver circuit from the operational amplifier, and then the collector goes straight out with no connection to it. To understand an open collector circuit, let's start by looking at a simple common emitter circuit. Here we have a transistor with an HFE of 10, as a reminder, that means that for every milliamp of current I put into the base, I'm going to get 10 milliamps into the collector. I have a 1K resistor here and a 10 volt, let's make sure we know that's a positive 10 volt power supply here. So what's going to happen if I put 100 microamps, or one tenth of a milliamp, from the base to the emitter? Well, with an HFE of 10, I'm going to get 10 times that current into the collector, so I will get through the collector resistor 1 milliamp. So 1 milliamp through 1K, what's the voltage I'm going to develop across this resistor? That's going to be 1 volt. So, remember Kirchhoff's voltage law, if I start with 10 volts and I lose 1 volt, what do I have left over? 9 volts. Easy peasy. That's how the common emitter circuit works. Now, let's remove the collector resistor. All right, now, I put the 100 milliamps in through the base. How much current am I going to get into the collector? Well, first let's get rid of this 9 volts because there's nothing there. How much current am I going to get into the collector? Well, you can't get nothing where nothing is. I'm not going to get any current into the collector. Another way to look at this is this transistor is acting like a current-controlled variable resistor. I don't know what the resistance here is. If I know what my current is, I can calculate that out. But uh, we know that to get a voltage here, I need two things. I need current through it, and I need resistance. Well, I'm not getting any current through it, so no matter what the resistance is, I'm not going to get any voltage across this. So my output is going to be zero volts. So without that resistor on the collector, I have no output. I can put current into here till the cows come home, and unless I do something that exceeds some parameter of the transistor, I'm not going to get any voltage on here because it's, it's simply acting like a resistor. No current through the resistor, no current, no voltage across it, therefore the zero volts here appears up here. So let's put that collector resistor back. And that is simply a pull-up resistor. We don't usually use that term unless we have an open collector circuit or something else where a pull-up resistor is needed. And this definitely needs that pull-up resistor. Now I make that resistor 1K again. And I put in that 100 milliamps. Now I have a path to pull some current through here. So I get 1 milliamp. 100 microamps, I get 1 milliamp here, and once again, now I have some current going through, and 
HFE of 10, 1 milliamp through 1K gives me a loss of 1 volt. And once again, we have 9 volts. So certain integrated circuits are provided with open collector outputs, so you can put whatever resistor you need in the collector to make the characteristics what you want. Or this can be used as a driver for other circuits. So for example, with an open collector design, I could run this to a PNP transistor. And when I start to pull current through that PNP transistor, it will start to turn on. So that gives me some flexibility if I have an open collector circuit. So operational amplifiers typically have a push-pull circuit so they can both source and sync current and do not require a pull-up resistor. So now we have the output of the op amp going to the coil of a relay. And if this is a typical operational amplifier, no problem. It can both source and sync current because of the type of output it has. It does not need a pull-up resistor. But if this is an IC comparator circuit, which typically does not have a push-pull circuit, but has an open collector, then when this tries to go to 10 volts, it can't go anywhere because it has a transistor in here that is connected to ground. It has some resistance, but once again, to get a voltage here, I have to have current going into that resistance to build up a voltage here. So it's not going to work. Now, Mr. Jovanovic suggested that I could hook up this coil to VCC. Well, let's see what would happen if I do that. That is my VCC. Now, let's go ahead and draw the driver circuit inside so we can understand what's going on here. Once again, this is an open collector transistor. So when this transistor is turned on by pushing a current from the base to the emitter, then I pull a current through the coil, which will operate the relay. So this is a simple solution to an open collector output. I put my circuit that is driving in the collector circuit of the open collector output. In review, with a common emitter circuit, I have two choices of how to handle the output. I can handle it in this way, where I have a collector resistor, and as I manipulate the current through the transistor, I'm manipulating the amount of current that goes through that collector resistor. As I increase that current, this voltage goes down. As I decrease this current, this voltage goes up. So if I have a collector resistor, basically I'm manipulating the voltage at the collector by manipulating the current at the base. But another thing you can do with a common emitter circuit is to put another circuit in the collector. Such as the example we just used with the coil of the relay in the collector, or this could be a primary of a transformer or any other kind of appropriate circuit. In this case, as I increase the current here, I increase the current through this circuit here. So in the case of the relay, if I get enough current, it turns on the relay. If it's the primary of a transformer, then I get various amounts of signal going across the transformer as I vary this current here. So either way, I have a common emitter circuit. Just one way, I have the next circuit as part of the collector circuit, as in this here, in which case I am manipulating the current by manipulating the transistor. Or I could have a collector resistor where manipulating this transistor manipulates the voltage at the collector. So basically, I can either have a current output or voltage output, depending on whether I have a collector resistor or put the circuit in the collector. Now, when it comes to integrated circuits, many come with open collectors so that I can choose what kind of output circuit I want there. So now I have an integrated circuit that has an open collector output. I can decide do I want to put a resistor here, which I would now call a pull-up resistor, so that I manipulate the voltage at the output? Or do I want this to have the next circuit as part of that collector circuit? If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. 
If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.